Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today I've got a ton of stories for you, starting with Intel's 11th gen getting benchmarked, their 12th gen requires a new socket, Nvidia has a new Ultra GPU, 3rd gen Navi spotted, and AMD is completed 4th gen Ryzen. But first, if you're looking at getting parts for your next PC, check out kit.co slash gamermelt, where I go over hardware suggestions based on component type. I also give a short description for why you may or may not want a certain part. Not only that, but when you follow the links, you're helping the channel out. And this is fairly early, so I'll be adding a ton more in the near future, as well as keeping it updated as new hardware comes out. So visit kit.co slash gamermeld today. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, Intel's next-gen Rocket Lake S has been benchmarked. Remember that Rocket Lake S will be the first time we get to see Intel's new XE GPU architecture in a desktop CPU. Unfortunately, it looks to still utilize Intel's 14 nanometer process, but with a new backported architecture, so hopefully we get a decent uplift in performance. As for the benchmark, it was originally found and shared by Tom Apisak, and it's an OpenCL benchmark, so we're only looking at GPU performance. Now, when it comes to that performance, the chip doesn't do very well at all, but that's obviously because it's such an early sample. Either way, it is an 8 core part, which is nice to see. At the end of the day, it's clear Intel is revving up for their 11th gen processors, and hopefully they'll come soon. Then again, we have 12th gen information already, as an Intel document was recently leaked by resident leaker Momomo underscore US. In it, you can see that it does in fact confirm a new socket for their 12th generation processors. Now, we already know that the new 1200 socket will be around for another generation yes. thanks to a video <laughs> from Gigabyte. This new socket is the 1700, and it's said to actually be a rectangular shape this time, as well as utilize a big dot little design. Not only that, but there has been recent rumors suggesting the new 1700 socket will come with support for DDR5 memory. Hopefully that ends up being true, as Intel will at least give us a decent reason to make the jump. Next up for today, it looks like we have yet another GPU from NVIDIA. Specifically, the GTX 1650 Ultra. Yep, as if NVIDIA's lineup wasn't confusing enough. We have the GTX 1650, GTX 1650 GDDR6 variant, 1650 Super, Mobile, Max-Q, Mobile Refresh, and even more. Well, now we have the GTX 1650 Ultra, which was found and shared by Momomo underscore US. This one is a Galax GPU, and oddly enough, it actually uses the TU-106, which is the same GPU used in the 2060 and 2070, but it's heavily cut down. Ultimately, it is a completely different GPU with a separate SKU and everything. With that said, the Ultra has the same cores and even clocks as the GDDR6 GTX 1650 variant, but this one has a TDP that's 15 watts higher. Basically, it seems almost worse, yet it's Ultra? I don't know, let's just hope NVIDIA doesn't release any more of these Ultra models across their stack. But maybe it will be better? I guess we'll just have to wait for third-party benchmarks. Next up for today, it looks like AMD's 3rd Gen Navi has been spotted. That's right, 3rd Gen, so after Big Navi. For those who don't know, AMD's RX 5700 and 5700 XT are made from the Navi 10 GPU. So first gen Navi. Then, from all the leaks we've seen, AMD's big Navi will be based off of Navi 21, AMD's second gen Navi. Well, in a recent report from Hardware Leaks, Aru Game found a reference to Navi 31, which should be third gen Navi. It was found in the new Mac OS 11 Big Sur GPU drivers, and honestly, this is interesting. Obviously, the Mac version would likely be Radeon Pro, but the fact that these are already in Apple's drivers show that AMD is definitely hard at work on them. And while they haven't said anything on RDNA 3 other than that it's on a quote advanced node, given Zen 4 is set for release around the same time and it's on 5 nanometers, I would assume that's what we're talking about here. Let's just say AMD may very well release new GPUs every year, which would ultimately put a ton of pressure on Nvidia. Lastly for today, we have a couple major stories that come from Igor Zap, who's been quite accurate on multiple leaks in the past. So starting things off, we have a bit of an update on a recent story I did from Kamachi that effectively confirms next-gen Ryzen 5000 APUs will come with Vega yet again. Well, according to Igor's lab, that is the case. And further confirming things, Igor's lab claims that this code is in the validation phase, so it won't be changing. 
That's certainly unfortunate, but apparently it'll be based on a further improved process, so the GPU will likely get at least a little bit better. One odd thing here is that Van Gogh, which will likely succeed the Athlon 3000U series, will get Navi 21, but it'll only be on Zen 2 cores, so it's almost just a tease. The second story here is regarding AMD's Ryzen 4000 CPUs, so their next-gen Zen 3-based Ryzen processors. Anyway, according to Igor's lab, 4th gen Ryzen is already in B0 stepping, which means it's ready for mass production. That further proves we can expect these this year, though of course AMD has essentially confirmed it multiple times themselves, but it's nice to know that we shouldn't see any delays. In fact, according to this, AMD is in a great position where they can release them about when they want without a lot of pressure. Now if we could just get some benchmarks. So while that does it for today, are you ready for AMD's 4th gen Ryzen or is Intel's 12th gen more of a pull? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.